Welcome back to War Thunder Weekly News. For this week, I'm going to talk about a lot of news, but that's because it's all covered up by the April Fools event. But the April Fools event is more of a test. Well, at least I assume so. In this event, we saw many things that aren't in the average game. And some of those things people have been not only asking for, but also been uh, suspecting would come out, like uh, smoke grenades. Also, helicopters have been asked for. Though, honestly, I didn't fly too well, in my personal opinion, or maybe I'm just not too experienced. But also, in modern tanks, with uh, composite armor and explosive reactive armor and all that crazy stuff. And now what I want to do is go through and talk about which ones I think are actually being tested out once are more of a gimmick or just a part of the April Fool's event. Uh, first off, the modern tanks. I don't think we're going to get modern tanks anytime soon, mainly because all their uh, important data is classified. So you would have to be going off of uh, guesses pretty much, which the Canary did that with the uh, like the Type 87 Spag or the RU-251. So adding more modern tanks would also like be extremely unbalanced and more modern jets become even more and more complicated and overpowered. So I don't think we're gonna, well I hope we're not gonna go any further, any too much further into the future. Uh, next up, helicopters. Earlier today I was very much assuming that helicopters were just kind of a gimmicky joke and they just modified some airplane flight models to make the helicopters and they used assets from one of their old helicopter games to put them in this game. But when I was uh, changing my controls to sim controls, the, the thing started blooping Let's at me about yeah. how certain controls haven't let up. And apparently, you can customize the helicopter controls. And I thought that was kind of odd for a 3D event. For the ship beta or alpha or whatever, uh, they didn't have custom controls set up for their first few. But for this, like they already have helicopters and they already kind of work. I, I think they still need, either people need to get better with them or they need work. I'm not sure. I'm not a, a helicopter engineer. I don't know how they work. The next element of the April Fool's event is the smoke launchers. I think this is obviously a, a test to see how it will, how the engine will perform with the smoke everywhere. Because they've, they've talked about how they want to put smoke launchers in game. People have been asking for, for smoke launchers in game. Someone posted a, a gif of like smoke shells being used, I assume on some sort of dev server somewhere. So smoke launchers in whatever way have been talked about a lot. Oh, they're obviously testing whether it will harm the engine performance in any way and honestly I don't think it did I didn't really notice too much uh, stuff uh, there were some times where my FPS went down below 60 which is abnormal besides that I didn't really notice anything it may have been something else maybe some on my computer the final thing the final element of this of this event was the map of Middle East or whatever they called it. I hope they keep it in game because it's a map. It has airfields. It wasn't a terrible map. I really like the underground areas. I thought those were really cool. It needs some work. It, it was obviously thrown together pretty fast. There was like a big seam in the mountains you could see if you were in a helicopter. And I think the spawning areas need a little work. One side has a hill with cover that you can snipe enemies from. Well, the enemies don't have anything. But I really liked the map. I just I, I just felt the environment was really cool. And it was well put together for a, being a, a three day event map. So they're basically my thoughts on the, uh, the April Fool's event. Another thing that happened this week that got kind of uh, blown over, on uh, March 26th, a uh, forum user asked, Hi, will season two start of Thunder League? And their response was, no exact date yet. We'll confirm this with uh, correct information. And there was an edit confirmed. So season two is confirmed, although we still don't have a date on when. Uh, I'm assuming sometime in the summer, possibly they'll have a Thunder League instead of the uh, Operation Summer event like we had last year. Either that or this will be a bi-yearly thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, don't hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. I, I try to get one of these out every weekend. I try to fill the weekend with other random stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, have a good day.